हेलो डी एस स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफेक्टर इन दिस क्लास विल बी सींग डिज़ाइन ऑफ एफ आई आर फिल्टर्स यूजिंग विंडोज फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक विल बी स्पेसिफिकली सींग वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ विंडोज एंड वॉट आर देयर डेफिनेशंस सो बिफोर गोइंग इन टू द डेफिनेशंस ऑफ विंडोज लेट एस सी once quickly the steps of design of fir filter this class i have already previously covered you can find it in this i video okay so i will just quickly revise the design of fir filter the topic is from the fir filter that is finite impulse response filters subject name is dsp so what is the need of design of fir filter using windows is to avoid gibbs phenomenon okay what is gibbs phenomenon we have seen in the previous class so here it is the desired frequency response will be given to us hd of e to j omega of the filter is periodic and is given hd of e to j omega the fourier transform equation is written which is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity h d of n a to the power minus j omega n this is a fourier transform equation and we need to find h d of n we will find the impulse fourier transform which is given by 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi 2 pi h d of e to j omega dot e to the j omega n d omega h d of n is known as fourier coefficient of infinite length this is fourier coefficient or desired impulse response of infinite length but we need impulse response of finite length because we are designing fir filter as this hd of n is of infinite in nature we have to truncate this hd of n to design fir filter by fourier series truncating hd of n to h of n at n is equal to plus or minus n minus 1 by 2 so we are truncating this infinite uh, sequence to length of plus or minus capital n minus 1 by 2 where l is the length of the desired sequence so while uh, truncating directly this infinite sequence hd of n while truncating to this length what happens some oscillations are occurring in the pass band and stop band but abrupt truncation of the fourier series results in oscillations in pass band and stop band these oscillations are due to the slow convergence of the fourier series due to the slow convergence of this fourier series hd of e to j omega which results into effect known as gibbs phenomenon to reduce these oscillations the fourier coefficient of the filter are modified by multiplying the infinites impulse response hd of n with a finite weighing sequence called a window so the hd of n is multiplied by a finite weighing sequence known as window what is a window now window is a finite weighing sequence so w of n is equal to w of minus n it's symmetrical in nature not equal to 0 for more than less than equal to n minus 1 by 2 h w of n is equal to w of minus when not equal to 0 for this range and is 0 for more than greater than n minus 1 by 2 so what happens to get the impulse response h of n this desired impulse response h d of n this is infinite in nature is multiplied with this window window sequence which is a finite weighing sequence for mod n less than equal to n minus 1 by 2 and is 0 for mod n greater than n minus 1 by 2 so there are the two methods of designing fir filters are one is fourier series method and other is window technique in fourier series method due to the abrupt trun abrupt truncation uh, resulting in oscillations in pass band and stop band gibbs phenomenon is occurring to avoid it we are using uh, using the window technique so let us now see what are the characteristics of window and what are the different types of window so the window is uh, as you know is a weighing 
a finite paying sequence the window chosen for truncating the infinite impulse response should have some desirable characteristics they are these are the three characteristics the first point is the central lobe of the frequency response of the window should contain most of the energy the central lobe of the frequency response the weighing window sequence when you are finding its impulse um, frequency response this central lobe this is known as central lobe the central lobe of the frequency response that is w of e to the power j omega versus omega the central lobe of the frequency response of the window should contain most of the energy and should be narrow the second point is the highest side lobe these are known as side lobes the highest side lobe of the frequency response should be small third point the side lobes of the frequency response should decrease in energy rapidly as omega is tending to pi so you see the side lobes are decaying in energy as omega is tending to pi so here the side lobes are decreasing energy as omega is turning to pi so these are the three characteristics the window or the way finite weighing sequence should have when truncating the infinite uh, impulse response for the design of fir filter so it's clear now window w of n is a finite weighing sequence where w of n is equal to w of minus 1 not equal to 0 for mod n less than equal to n minus 1 by 2 and is 0 for mod n greater than n minus 1 by 2. The different types of windows are the rectangular window the first one denoted by w r of n its value is equal to 1 for minus of n minus 1 by 2 less than equal to n less than equal to n minus 1 by 2 and is 0 otherwise so w r of n value is equal to 1 in this range coming to the triangular or the bartlett window it is denoted by w t of n w t of n is equal to 1 minus 2 of mod small n by capital n minus 1 for minus of n minus 1 by 2 less than equal to n less than equal to n minus 1 by 2 and is 0 otherwise so in this range w2 of n value is 1 minus 2 mod of small n by n minus 1 third window is the raised cosine window denoted by w alpha of n w alpha of n is equal to alpha plus 1 minus alpha cos of 2 pi n by n minus 1 for minus of n minus 1 by 2 less than equal to n less than equal to n minus 1 by 2 and is 0 otherwise the raised cosine window by substituting alpha different values we mm, we get two more uh, windows from this raised cosine windows they are Hanning window and Hamming window. Fourth window is the Hanning window denoted by WH of n. In the raised cosine window, if we put alpha value as 0 0.5, we will get WH of n as 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 cos of 2 pi n by capital N minus 1 for minus of n minus 1 by 2 less than equal to n less than equal to n minus 1 by 2 and is 0 otherwise. The next fifth window is Hamming window denoted by WH of n. WH of n is equal to 0.54 plus 0.46 cos of 2 pi n by n minus 1 for minus of n minus 1 by 2 less than equal to n less than equal to n minus 1 by 2 and is 0 otherwise. So, these two windows we um, we got it from the raised cosine window by putting alpha value 0 0.5 alpha value 0 0.5 and the hamming window by substituting alpha is equal to 0 0.54 the blackman window wb of n 
W B of n is equal to 0 0.42 plus 0 0.5 cos of 2 pi n by capital M n minus 1 plus 0 0.08 cos of 4 pi n by n minus 1 for minus of n minus 1 by 2 less than equal to n less than equal to n minus 1 by 2 and is 0 otherwise. Next the seventh window is a Kaiser window W k of n it is given by i naught times alpha i naught dot alpha dot root over 1 minus 2 n by capital N minus 1 whole square by i naught of alpha. So, these are the 7 windows uh, which we can uh, summarize it once again. So, raised cosine window I have not written here. So, the windows are rectangular window denoted by W R of n, triangular or Bartlett window denoted by W T of n, Hanning window W H n of n, Hamming window W H of n, Blackman window W B of n. In this range that is in the range of minus n minus of n minus 1 by 2. less than equal to n less than equal to n minus 1 by 2 in this range w r of n value is equal to 1 w t of n value is equal to 1 minus 2 mod n by n minus 1 hanning window w h of n of n is equal to 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 cos of 2 pi n by n minus 1 hamming window w h of n 0.4 plus 0.46 cos of 2 pi n by n minus 1. Blackman window W B of n is equal to 0.42 plus 0.5 cos of 2 pi n by n minus 1 plus 0.08 cos of 4 pi n by n minus 1. I hope all the definitions of all the windows are clear. This 5 windows are more popularly used for uh, design of FIR filters in, in the problems and solutions. Uh, I hope you have cleared and it is easy to remember also. So, good luck students, if you have any doubts you can post in the comment section. Thank you.